The lead attorney and Tony the Closer has had for the most part a tumultuous relationship. Now their tumultuous relationship started when the lead attorney was speaking on Jay Morrison and Tony the Closer lawsuit that's currently going on. And he insinuated when he was speaking about it that Tony the Closer was broke. Hence, it appears the court, it appears to the court that Tony has not retained counsel. Do you remember, guys, when I told you that I thought this was a money issue? You remember when I told? When I, do you remember that? Like when JT, when when Tony was with JT, JT was like Tony was like, no, no, it's just a pregnancy and the COVID stuff. But you know, I've had so many people stiff me. I've had I, I'm owed so much money, and don't feel bad. I mean, we all are. All attorneys who are out in these trenches, we're owed so minimum six figures. We're never going to get it. I know what money troubles look like. Those comments from lead attorney led Tony the Closer to hop on lead attorney's live stream and confront him about insinuating that he was broke. So, introducing our man, we got Tony the Closer in the house with the damn Cubans on. Shout out to Tony. Thank yeah, you I so heard, much. I heard I must have ran out of money, so I had to figure out where that shit came from. Okay, all right, then, <laughs> let's talk about it. My, my pockets, I got more money than you making on YouTube and all that. So we start talking money, we ain't gonna do that. Cause my money let's talk, talk, listen, let's talk about it then. Let's talk about it. Okay, one, thing, one thing is to be respectful, but you taking the tax at me, which is disrespectful. When you start talking about financial issues and stuff like that, that's not accurate. So let's talk facts. So well, let, let, I, let's let's let, let, let's slow down a little bit. Let's slow down a little bit because I did acknowledge number one, that's my hunch, and number two, I acknowledge that I don't I don't know what your pockets are, man. Their conversation really didn't go anywhere because lead attorney ended up kicking Tony the closer off the panel because the conversation wasn't productive, and Tony, I guess, kept on applying pressure to lead about calling him broke, and Lee was just trying to move from off the subject and move on to other things regarding the lawsuit. But Tony wouldn't let it go. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, this has to be a productive conversation. It can't be that you want to say that you want to clear up the money. Well, and then well, when I say, yeah. fine, let's talk about the money. Then you start talking well, about, again, let's play big bank, little like bank. I ran out of money. I'll, I'll tell you to match your bank account for the well, last but five years but, next to mine. And listen, then we can see let's, who ran out of money. Right, I, ain't Tony, never ran I out tried. Of I tried, Tony. I, I really did. <laughs> Shout out to Tony, man. I really did. Y'all saw me. That was over a year ago. And they haven't spoken since. But it looks like they're back beefing. And now they're back beefing because the lead attorney decided he was going to cover DJ Envy's lawsuit against Tony the Closer. Now, the lead attorney started off his analysis pretty well. You know, he was giving Tony the Closer praises. He acknowledged how he was wrong in the past for treating Tony the Closer the way he treated him. And he could have done better. Uh, Tony the Closer. Shout out to Tony the Closer. I don't know if y'all know, man. Me and Tony, we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Tony was threatening me with death. <laughs> Tony didn't like your boy, man. We got off on the wrong foot. And then I did a I did another live stream and he came on and he was such a gentleman, the perfect gentleman. But then I fucked it up. Like the first time it was Tony's fault. If we're going to be honest. Tony came in a little bit too hot. And then the second time we ran it back. But then I, I just made one of the biggest mistakes of my entire YouTube career. My entire one. So that was on me. That was on me. And so we really haven't, we haven't spoken since. But but as he furthered his analysis of the case, he said a couple of things that Tony the Closer had an issue with. One of those things being when he brought up the fact that a customer of Tony the Closer had an issue when Tony the Closer discounted his course after she purchased it for full price. Tony the Closer frequently makes posts offering discounts or sales for the first followers or commenters to quickly comment on his post and buy his real estate courses. That's true. And this is what I was just talking about. That lady was pissed the fuck off that she bought that course. That lady bought that fucking course for $2,000. Tony dropped the price to 200. She was mad as hell. Tony Closer was also upset that when the lead attorney was reading DJ Envy's lawyer accusing him of kidnapping a woman, I guess the lead attorney was laughing and applauding how the lawyer was slick and sneaky with the writing. I don't think the lead attorney was validating the lawyer's claim. He was just applauding him for being sneaky and slick with it. Uh, Tony the Closer claims he's a former criminal in prison as a result of bad decisions from addiction, presumably including his 2014 arrest for kidnapping and assaulting a woman. But he has found a new purpose in life. <laughs> Whoever wrote this, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was arrested for kidnapping, <laughs> but he found a new purpose in life. It's like, all right, all right. 
All right, whoever wrote that, let's go. <laughs> Tony the Closer was watching from the clouds and decided that he was going to call in and confront lead attorney for behavior that he believed was inappropriate and slanderous. Totally. Tony the Closer, man. What is up, Tony the Closer? How are you doing? Uh, why is it every time I see her live with you, it's like you try to take shots at my name. I feel like you, you got a lot of disrespect when it comes to me. I just don't like it. Like this is a case about victims in a in a, in a major multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme. And I see you, first off, the lawyer put misinformation with a kidnapping in there. <laughs> And, and you sitting there repeating it multiple times to your followers where they're now believing that bullshit. That's disrespectful. Okay. First of all, Tony, thank you for... <laughs> he dropped off! Shit, guys, why don't y'all tell me? I... <laughs> uh, let me first say, guys, I did not... <laughs> I did not... Uh cancel out i didn't what do you call it i didn't kick out tony here's the thing and i dealt with this in the past just because somebody and you have a relationship or you guys has been enemy in the past even if you guys turn a new leaf whatever you do will be heavily scrutinized so tony the closer probably viewed what lee was doing as shady when in fact if somebody else would have done it he probably wouldn't have viewed what they done at, as shady he probably would have viewed what they was doing as journalism or them just reading what the lawyer wrote. But because his lead attorney and they got a past and they got a history that's tumultuous, he's viewing what lead is doing as in bad faith. And so that's where I believe, you know, the, you know, like the miscommunication is coming into. He believed that lead is doing this to be slick and in bad faith. Now, after Tony Closer left the panel willingly, um, he was sending different super chats Pretty much confront and lead about being shady. Tony the Closer says, it isn't true, but you love playing with my name. Does Tony think that I wrote the complaint? He says it isn't true, and I believe him. But how am I playing with your name if I didn't write it? What does Tony the Closer say? Tony says, you diss my program that I have millions and got the nerve to be selling a live stream course. Shake my fucking head clown. Did anyone in this chat hear me diss this course? Or did I tell you what one person, just one person out of the thousands of people who've taken that course? But I tell you what one person who came up said about the course. But did I say anything about the course? Have I taken the course? Did I mention anything about me knowing anything about that course? So Tony the Closer called back up, and I'm not sure why he called back up. I'm not sure if it if he had good faith to kind of squash it or if he came up to dunk on the lead attorney. But when he came back up, this is what happened. Shout out to Tony. All right. Now listen. Keep my name out your mouth. Before, before you, before Keep you leave, out. Tony, we're not going to do this. I kicked Tony off. I kicked Tony off. When you first came up, I kicked you off. The very first time, months ago, a year ago, because no one comes up here with that energy. No one. I've had the best on my channel. I mean, you could talk about Kevin. You can talk about Avin Preach. You can talk about MTR. You can talk about Poor Man's Podcast. You can talk about Pocket Watching with JT. I've had the best on this channel. That was the last of it. The lead ended his live stream shortly after, and Tony didn't come back up or go on social media to slam on the lead any further. So y'all let me know in the comment section, man, whose side are you guys on? Are you guys on the lead attorney side or the Tony the Closer side, man? And if you're still watching, click on the video to find out how this rapper ruined his career by being caught on camera in 4K doing this to a woman. Click on this video to find out what I'm talking about. I'm going to see you guys in this video, all right? I'm out of here, folks. Peace.